Yeah, welcome back to Lightwave Guru. Yesterday we have a nice talk on Hangout. I killed the party yesterday with my setup, with my car setup. And the reason was that I have a specific problem to integrate in that setup and the destination is to integrate in one scene all bullet functions. This uh, flag here, yeah, this little flag, you see it here. And the thing was that my original flag I built for that situation was created with a mesh filter for the weight to define the areas uh, the flag have a deforming and it would not work, yeah. And the whole community and Hangout tests then different situations to uh, fix that problem. And we find yesterday uh, not really a solution for that. But Jason Boudreau uh, came then in the chat and showed that he dropped a deforming object with his geometry in a... Uh, Uh, in a collision cage, inside in a collision cage a little bit and the tech works. That means Jason hacks the bullet system and I'm very happy with you Jason. It's better uh, you have a free mind for that and yeah you bring the solution. And what Jason do is that he I stop the simulation and I show it in the bullet what he what he do in that case and that everybody understand it. Jason takes uh, this flag here and drop it. Right, I make it here so. And drop a part from this uh, a geometry from that uh, flag inside the collision cage yes and then he parent the flag himself on that collision object yeah here you can see it the car flag solo is now under it's parented on the trailer collision cage yes and now the bullet do the following the bullet now detect some from the uh, from the police here I zoom in and show it and some from the points from the flag is inside the collision cage and the friction from the collision cage is 100% and now the collision cage grab that uh, points here I zoom in a little bit more you can see it better here from the flag the beginning from the flag And uh, yeah, the, the the final was that now uh, we can animate a flag with a bullet function without the uh, mesh filter, and this was a problem the whole time. I have created for that flag a mesh filter to control the influence from the deformation, and in that case we all times create artifacts and the first idea was that you cannot uh, parenting an object with a deforming parameter in bullet on a rigid body uh, but that's not true you see it here then the thing is that the cage from the the collision cage is a rig rigid body yes It's uh, general works. You see it here. Collision cage rigid. Yeah. And if you now start the simulation, right? I track on the on the flag. You would see that uh, that it works. Yeah. You can do it in that way and grab it, but you cannot use uh, a mesh deformation filter as option for uh, control the deforming mesh. Yeah, you have here the mesh filter, that here. And in my original uh, setup was here the flag weight. And that flag weight uh, would do the following. I hope it's in function now. I drop now the flag weight on the, on that, 
on that flag and start your simulation new. Make here some frames. And then you would see that the flag. Hey, it works now. Holy crap. Jason. It was not only the mesh filter. Oh wait, I make so, some more. Ah, okay. Okay, now we see it. It is the mesh filter. The mesh filter from the bullet have a bug. Yeah. You see it. You, you do unfunny things with my with, with my flag. Yes. And uh, that was the reason that I searched yesterday in the evening with the guys in the hangout, light light wiki hangout. Uh, a chat for another solution to animate that flag on that uh, on that car. So now we know what the kind of parenting is to integrate a, a deforming object and parent it in the right way on the rigid body object. And the second is that we know now that the weight filter function, the mesh filter, yeah, the weight function to uh, define the influence areas for for the deforming. It's not in function, yeah. In uh, if you rig, if you parent it on a rigid object, if you do it, if you, for example, uh, take the flag and stay it solo here on the floor, stand alone without parenting, yeah. The mesh filter works perfect, but if you parent it on a rigid rigid body, and you have then a mesh filter, it works not, yeah. And if I now make a non to the uh, filter will simulate you and then the flag will deforming in the way we need it yeah it's very interesting that it's a really it was a really deep problem and i'm very happy and proud of the community and uh, especially jason in that case that he bring with that idea and that hack it to work yeah, now it worked. For my tests here, you see it. The CarFlex Solo have no self collision. And that's the reason that here the mesh uh, 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 go not totally cor correct for the simulation. But if I uh, activate the self collision, it would very uh, would work very nice. Yeah. So I hope the one or another understands the problem. Um, and that's a good bug report too, I think. Uh, I show it now with the, the problem with the mesh filter. And I don't know what it is, but it has to do with the mesh filter and the weight. Yeah? In that case, uh, object is a deformed uh, object with a deforming type here is parented on a rigid body and you use a mesh filter, it goes wrong. Yeah, the mesh filter fun function is only tight and in function if you're not parented on a rigid object. Yeah, but if you leave it, then it would uh, be in function. So thanks for that hack, Jason. That's very cool. And the reason is that's so cool is in the beginning all the old mans in the chat must loud about your crazy idea, but it was co the correct idea, my friend. Yeah, so now we have a solution more for my setup and uh, I remember all the destination from that setup is to build a scene who in the end I drive a car only with a steer, with the steering and all other do the, bu do the bullet and I integrate so all functions from the bullet in that scene. So. And now we cannot uh, integrate all functions. I talk about that. And that's uh, the mesh filter, for example. I cannot use in that case. I can only use it if I stay here a flag or here in another part of the scene without parenting, then I can show also the mesh filter, yeah? So the next thing is that the idea was the flag to animate a little bit better with the force field. You see it here. At the moment is that force field inactive. And the reason is that I find no way to isolate the force field, acceleration, or the velocity, or the force, or whatever as possibilities there is, to isolate only for the flag. So if anybody have an idea in what way we do it, 
yeah, uh, tell it to me. And the reason is, if the uh, wind force react with all that parameters here, yeah, that means the, the wind field push all objects, not only the flag, also the melons or the car and all that, I lost totally the control over the scene, yeah. I have then, uh, in the moment, it's possible I have later the right idea about it, but in the moment I have no idea to bring it under control, yeah. That the wine uh, influence the uh, flag, but not the rest from the, from the car. Yeah, and the reason is that the rest from the whole setup, including the melons, work without that flag and the wine field. Uh, uh, for my, uh, also that's what I think, uh, perfect, and it uh, simulate near real time. Yeah, and that's the reason I never touch that part at time, only later for a little bit optimizing, but uh, not from ground. Yeah, so I. I hope uh, somebody have understand what I say. Uh, say, uh, say uh, see you later, yeah? I make here some other tests. The next what I would integrate, yeah, is uh, the function from the bullet you break uh, some objects, yeah? You can integrate it also, also in the scene. Uh, that means uh, Next uh, function I would integrate is parts, yeah, that we break objects. That mean I build some walls and uh, uh, stay here on the floor and the car can drive in, uh, in the floor and break some uh, geometry, yeah, some part geometry objects. That's the next I would integrate. So, um, would say, say, see you later, here last time. You can see the last uh, the last test, and yeah, I can only say for all the LightWiki uh, Facebook users, come with us Friday in the chat. You can also check it only passive on the YouTube channel, and you can take a look what we do there or what we talk there, or you can come come active in the chat. I don't know how many slots it have. Uh, I think 15 or 20 slots. And then we can uh, spoken uh, about things like that. It was very funny yesterday to see all the old guys and uh, with his tests, yeah, the old Lightwave gurus we have yesterday, I think five or six Lightwave gurus in the house and all uh, work, uh, working on that problem. It was very funny, yeah. So now we have a solution and the reason is that we work in the team and yeah, thanks last time, uh, Jason, yeah, in the, for, that, for that solution. Thank you. So later at all, bye bye.